Good morning, it is Tuesday morning. Uh, it is day 12. And I promised you yesterday that we'd go tracking again. If you remember yesterday was that spinning machine of a VUCA or e-VUCA world. And uh, it often got me to think about how do trackers find their way through these uncertain times that they find themselves in. Last week I introduced you to Renius and to Alex and a beautiful book called Changing a Leopard's Spots. Uh, this week I've had a chance to reread another glorious book. Uh, it's a book by Boyd Varty called The Lion Tracker's Guide to Life. I've had the privilege of tracking with Boyd and not only is he a superb tracker, he is the most phenomenal writer. He writes magnificently well. And uh, there are two lines that come from this book, and funnily enough, both of them come from Renius, and he spent a lot of time with Renius. The first one is that Renius talks about, we're on the path of not here. And uh, what a wonderful metaphor that is, that sometimes we track through uncertain times, uh, and we don't find what we're looking for. But in the path of not here is as important as being on the path of here. You know what you haven't found, and therefore it can give you clues as to where you might look next. The second magnificent statement that comes from the wisdom of Renius is, he may not know where he's going, but he knows exactly how to get there. And I thought of that in the context of a way through this VUCA world, that Renius has vision and values. He has a, a clear understanding, and he has unlearned so much in his life. He knows the value of collaboration and courage and care and consistency and communication. And he knows the value of connection. And of course, he knows how to be agile and how to stay fully aware. He also has that wonderful resource of energy. All of that reminded me of a story. And the story was uh, doing some tracking this time in KZN. We were looking for a crowned eagle's nest. Crowned eagle is uh, not the biggest eagle in the world, but arguably the most powerful. It hunts bushbuck and it hunts monkeys. To hunt a bushbuck, you need strength. To hunt monkeys, you need stealth. And the crowned eagle has both stealth and strength, agility and absorption in, uh, in abundance. We found this magnificent feather and as we left the area, a comment was made in the group. And the comment was, you do not find such a feather. Such a feather finds you. And what I learned is that this feather represents bravery. It's an eagle feather. And I've carried it with me ever since I found it to remind me of the times I need to be brave. And I guess this is one of those times. Hedgy, if you've got your feather, you will remember this day that we tracked together. This morning on my trekking walk with my Jack Russells and the Hardy Dars of Johannesburg, I did manage to find a slightly different feather. I found the feather of a dove. And firstly, it's symbolic in that it is gray. And gray represents neutrality. Perhaps we're in a time of some neutrality as we find ourselves in isolation. The second is that, according to ancient Native American wisdoms, the feather of a dove is for peace, love, and family. And I hope that today, on this Tuesday, day 12, you find time for peace, love, and spending time with your family. Have a wonderful Tuesday, and we'll see you tomorrow.